Hello over users, Alex C, your VR guide, and today I want to show you how to go from 3ds Max to Unreal with few easy steps. I'm going to show you my workflow that I actually developed during this uh, training and um, as you can see here I'm filling up my scene already with different objects. It's pretty easy stuff, there are a few rules to follow, so stay tuned, I'm going to show you how I bring my stuff from 3ds Max to Unreal Engine. Okay, so I'm here with my scene. I'm gonna take this brick wall. As you can see, I don't have much V-Ray materials here because Unreal Engine works only with standard. And uh, I need to convert my stuff, so I'm using plugin in order to do that. And if you go in Google and you type in, you'll be able to find V-Ray script that actually converts V-Ray materials to standard materials. And then you can uh, download it and run it, AK. VR MTL to standard materials. This is what it's called. So before I use that, I just want to make sure that my brick wall map got the right stuff uh, prior conversion. So that's the map that I'm using here. That's the diffuse. And I also need to use bump. So for the bump, I'm actually going to use crazy bump in order to create normals. Um, Unreal Engine doesn't really work with uh, grayscale, it works with normals. So I'm gonna go and find my AI brick wall, open it up. Uh, Crazy Bump, by the way, also a free plugin. Um, even though there is a purchase button, but you um, can use it for free. So here we need to adjust our brick wall a little bit better. I'm gonna tweak those parameters here in order to get a little bit better presentation of my normal map. So I'm going to remove the large details, kind of try to stay with the small ones, something like that. When I'm done, click save and it actually creates NRM extension with a JPEG same folder you have opened that file so save and now here we're gonna go and reload so we're gonna reduce remove that and load our normal map okay now I can go ahead and use my converter plugin run script AK very material Now we can see that this map was disconnected. That means our brick wall got a standard material right now. And uh, somehow we lost the bump. So let's do it manually. Bring it here. Select it one more time. Okay, so in some cases it does pass it through but some cases are not and um, I also did some tests with multi-sub if you have one object that got a bunch of materials just make sure they're all standard uh, but yeah you can use multi-sub uh, material okay so now this wall is ready to go to Unreal I'm gonna click export selected call it brick wall you can export a bunch of stuff, like I had uh, seating here, but when I exported my seating uh, area, the couches, um, some pillows had flipped faces. So I, it's another issue with Unreal Engine. All the faces, all the normals has to f uh, face one direction. If they flip, you're gonna see through. So I had to fix my pillows, and this, is, this P file is actually a fix of my pillows with flipped normals. That's just a side note. We're going to go through all that stuff in the upcoming training, so no worries. Just follow through this uh, tutorial here. That's the basic workflow. Brick wall. Save. And uh, mesh smooth groups, turbo, triangular, and preserve edge orientation. This is for the normals. And disconnect all the other stuff, because you don't really need. Click OK. 
been exported. Now we're gonna go to Unreal, click Import, Brick Wall. We're gonna do Auto Generate Collision because um, we wanna have a collision detection. So we won't be able to go through this wall, even though we have collisions on all our walls already. I'm gonna click this guy on and uh, disconnect combined meshes if you have it on. Click import. And voila, our wall is inside Unreal. Now we can go ahead and drag and drop it right here and position it let's go to the back click F to zoom in top in order to align it properly it's kind of hard to place this so let's delete those and fix our axis let's go back to 3ds max and uh, center the object here and then let's also center our object to the world so let's put it at zero 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 and uh, file export selected brick wall save replace it okay And now let's re import that again. Import. Here we go. Now let's drag and drop it here. You can see the orientation is much better, it's much easier to place it now. So uh, let's go place it on top. Okay, this looks good. And now left side, all right, perspective. Let's fix that here, like that. F. Okay, so it looks pretty good okay now if we go to our material here you can see we've got our normal as a bump and our texture here so let's add some values of specular I'm actually gonna click one and left click create that numeric value connect it to specular Increase the specular amount. Yeah, something like that. Now, roughness is actually the reflection. So let's give it just a slight reflection. Let's click one again, left click. Roughness, when it's zero, it's pretty reflective. Let's give it a little blur here. Somewhere there, I still want to have some specular going on. Let's okay, let's click save, see how this works. Alright, so we got some specular going on in our world. Really nice. Okay, so uh, let's close this one and let's click play. Let's see what we've got here. Last night I was working all day trying to get those textures right. I also worked on the water. Unfortunately, uh, there is no good tutorials, so I was <laughs> trying to figure it out. But you can see my water is moving and it's got pretty cool values here. If I click escape and uh, zoom in, 
just to show you how this water got nice fernell going on all right so if we click play we can move around put collision detections everywhere I also played with lights you can see the lights actually creating a really nice lens flare here same thing goes with the sun and I made some collisions so I can go up pretty soon I'm gonna start filling up this room with furniture and I'm gonna add some trees and show you some other materials that can be done and uh, let me show you one last thing we have here a bunch of cool stuff it's so cool let's add some spotlight somewhere here put it up and uh, let's actually take values of that warm light copy paste Let's click play and we're getting message that we need to build the light prior to this we can see it's already working and all the stuff already working pretty well so let me show you how you can build that's the button here I'm gonna put it on production quality and click build all right so our build was complete we got some little issues here but uh, with overlapping maps but it doesn't really prevents us from running this thing and um, let's go and check out our new lighting the water looks, looks pretty cool all right so we've got lighting here we've got lighting over our couch I'm gonna start adding more uh, cool objects here in order to fill it up with space I'm gonna add some plants I'm going to show you how to do translucent leaves and uh, here I'm going to put my bedroom all right so this is how you work with Unreal and 3ds Max and let me show you one last thing when you've built everything and you made your lights this is how you actually can take it to your client what you can do is you can package the project and as you can see here you can package it for various um, platforms iOS Linux Android HTML5 if you want to put it on the web uh, or Windows so I'm gonna do Windows 64-bit I'm gonna select the location here that's the previous build I'm gonna delete it so uh, let me actually put it here in loft Unreal projects loft select folder all right, so the build was done, and let's go to our Unreal project, window editor, no editor, go and go here. And this file was created, so you actually can take it to any computer, so let's double click it. Boom, voila, our scene is all up and running in a high definition, full screen. So now you can really appreciate the quality of the textures and all the materials here. The brick wall. Okay, so this is even prior our V-Ray baking method. When we're gonna bake the V-Ray lighting into the textures, this is where the biggest impact gonna happen. Okay, so now I showed you this entire workflow from going to 3ds max to unreal more stuff we're going to uncover in the upcoming training i hope you like this tutorial share it with your friends this is alex your very guy ciao